What's going on guys? Hopefully everyone is having a good day. Today what I wanted to talk about is something that I think is incredibly impactful and something that is making a giant change in my life, which is how to break bad habits. How do we get rid of bad habits? Things that we don't like to do, that we kind of continue to fall back in, that we kind of continue to make the same mistakes on, uh, and how, how can we really effectively uh, get better? So basically the biggest thing that I learned and a strategy that is working very, very well for me in my life, and, and it does take time, but is basically understanding the bad habit that you have. And a lot of times we try and go, ah, oh, I play on my phone in bed. I, I play on my phone when I'm sitting on the toilet. I uh, smoke cigarettes. I drink when I get stressed out. I scream at people when I get angry, right? Like whatever it is, we have these habits that we know we have that we wanna break. Like, oh, I can't believe I just yelled at him. Oh, I can't believe I just took five shots of tequila. Sorry, <laughs> that's not even that bad of a habit, right? No, I'm just kidding. All right, so what do we have to do? And I think the biggest thing is we normally think if I could just use my willpower, I would allow myself to not have to think. I'll just say, oh, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not over gonna play uh, video games. I'm not gonna sit on YouTube and watch you know, videos all day. I'm not gonna do blank, 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 blank. And we use willpower and eventually it fails. And what I found that has the most effective way to break a habit that we don't want is to simply acknowledge and be mindful when we are having that habit and try and change it from a habit, a subconscious decision to a conscious active decision, which allows us to then better understand what we're doing. And then it allows us to kind of focus on it and not to do it anymore. So what I mean by that, for example, is if you love to play video games, right? Like after work and you're like, oh, I need to get all this stuff done, but I wanna play video games. Well, what we can actually do is consciously think about that habit in a way of, okay, I'm going to allow myself to play video games. However, when I play video games, I'm gonna consciously think about it. Oh wait, I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm gonna do it anyway and go, okay, what? what am I going to do? So what is that sensation that I feel when I turn on my Xbox or PlayStation or computer? Uh, how do I feel when I'm doing these things? Like what satisfaction is this giving me? How do I feel emotionally? How do I feel mentally when I'm playing these video games? Am I really enjoying it? Is it just a habit? Does it feel like, um, I, I get the relief I'm looking for. Do I feel relaxed? Like when we just imagine like playing these video games and, and how long am I playing the video game? What makes me decide to get off the video game? And when we can mentally really understand what's going on, it becomes a lot less addictive. Uh, it becomes a lot less satisfying. If we know that we're gonna eat, uh, for example, for me, right? I'm trying to work on like not really eating sweets at all. Like just, and, you know, for the most part, I'm really, really good on like counting calories, things like that. But every once in a while, I'm like, well, I can do a, a, an ice cream bar or like some whatever once in a while, right? Which I can, but it's a bad habit that ideally we don't really wanna have. So what I can do is kind of recognize like, oh, I want this sweet, right? I, I want this donut, I want this chocolate bar, I want whatever it is, right? And go, what is that chocolate bar going to actually do for me? So instead of consciously just grabbing it, excuse me, subconsciously just grabbing it, instead what we can do is we can look at it and go, wait, hang on. I feel the I feel the need that I want this sweet. Like what does that feeling feel like? What is it? What does your body feel? How do you, how do you like what is that sensation inside of yourself? And then from there, uh, we can kind of look at that in a way of going, okay, so I have this sensation that makes me feel like I want this chocolate bar for no real good reason, and that gives me some sort of satisfaction um if i eat it right or like maybe i feel bad about it after and then and then you realize like oh no this is actually taking away from my goals it's probably not even that sweet it's not even that good maybe you take a bite of it right like let me just try a bite then and then you realize oh i don't need this really and then and 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 essentially in that thought sorry um i just glitched out there uh but essentially in that thought what just happened what did I just do? All right, sorry, I don't know what I messed up. Uh, anyway, 
But so then we have that dessert, we have that bite, we have whatever, we consciously think about it and, and eventually it becomes a conscious thought, not a subconscious thought, anytime that you wanna eat sweets. And then from there you can decide, oh, I actually don't want this anymore because it's not benefiting me, it doesn't make me feel better, it doesn't do what I want it to do. I actually just don't need these sweets at all. Like it, it really does not do anything for me. Um, and if it does, at least it's more conscious, right? How often do we get on our phone to check a text message and you end up on Instagram and you're like, wait, why am I on Instagram? Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. And if you can just consciously think about it, like when you catch yourself, like, why am I on Instagram and just go, what am I, what was I doing? What was I trying to do? We become more mindful of it. And it kind of eventually just fades out of like an uncommon and unthought out a uh, habit to a more like thought out strategic like mental like am I going to get on Instagram and you can kind of like really break these negative things that you don't want and then when you know that you don't want it then then it just goes away because we we consciously think about like oh that donut looks good but it's not going to give me anything that I want move on right I'm hungry it's not going to like fill that like sensation for hunger um and and the habits get released and it really it, it takes a while but it feels really really good to do that so that's all i got for you guys today i hope that that helped and i will see you guys in the next video